This question is, I've been wanting to hear SCM's thoughts on Plutarch. The site seems to be silent about that subject, and it seemed Charlotte Mason was an advocate and used it in her schools. I haven't researched it yet for myself, but I did notice it wasn't ever discussed in a blog by SCM or mentioned in any of the curriculum planning, so just curious to hear your thoughts on Plutarch. For those of you who are not familiar with Plutarch, he was a Greek historian who wrote biographies about Greek and Roman men. His biographies are a bit different in that he didn't focus on just giving a chronological account of a person's life events. Rather, he focused on character traits and gave examples from a person's life to elaborate on or reveal those traits. In fact, he liked to take one Greek man and one Roman man and put their lives side by side to compare and contrast the virtues and vices of each pair. You might hear of Plutarch's lives. Those are his biographies. And if you hear someone refer to Plutarch's parallel lives, those are the side-by-side -side comparisons. Charlotte Mason loved to use Plutarch with her students because of his emphasis on character. However, she warned us to be careful using them because not all of these men were exemplary and some of the events described in their biographies are not suitable for children to hear about. Here at SCM, we feature a Plutarch lesson in our Charlotte Mason style Morning of Studies video, part of the Learning and Living DVD series. In order to give homeschool teachers an introduction to him and a taste of his writing. We also assign a few of his biographies that we consider appropriate for grades 10 through 12 in our Ancient Greece study and Ancient Rome study, and you'll find those listed on our free curriculum guide.